langage du Mac AZM. A tous de DDO, attention pour la séquence finale lanceur. Top, H0, moins 20 secondes. Largage du mât VKM. Allumage du triétage, attention. Top, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Top, décollage. Les moteurs des premiers et deuxième étages fonctionnent normalement. Bonne stabilisation du lanceur. Le vol est nominal. Beautiful. Beautiful pictures there in the clear blue sky above the Guiana Space Center, over the Amazon rainforest. Saw you blazing a trail. Range Operations Manager is telling us that every, everything is going according to plan, everything's nominal. The propulsion of the first stage is nominal. Our altitude, bottom left, 36 kilometers above Earth. Our speed coming up to two kilometers per second. And you can see the boosters being jettisoned. See how they twist and turn. All part of the plan. Uh, we have confirmation there of separation, and we saw them. We don't need them anymore. The boosters can fall away. We're shedding weight. We're burning the core stage now. The block A burns for nearly five minutes. Picking up in speed there on the right hand side and climbing into space right now we are 78 kilometers high and getting closer to what we call the carmen line that's the border with space it's named after the hungarian american aerospace engineer theodore von carmen who died in 1963 and it's where the air becomes so thin that we can no longer support vehicle, vehicles with wings and we have to use rocket science to stay up. Look at the front of the vehicle there, that's the fairing, the nose, and in there are the satellites. It's protecting them from the rigors of the launch. Notably the acoustic vibrations, you can just imagine how loud it is. Everything's going according to plan. And also friction, because as we fly through the dense part of the atmosphere, it causes the outside of the fairing to heat up. But as we get closer to the Kármán line, the air becomes so thin that we hardly have any friction and we don't need the fairing anymore. So this is the scheduled moment where we lose it. It gets jettisoned. And we can see our satellites for the first time attached there on the front. And he's confirmed that the fairing has been jettisoned. Attached there at the front, the left-hand side, some great images there from cameras on board a previous launch. The functioning of the motor of the block A is nominal.
Now he's telling us that the functioning of the block A motor is going normally. So the 403B spacecraft, lovingly built by the men and women at Talisalania Space, who are experts at this kind of thing. And if you look in the middle of the rocket, you can see a sort of latticework structure by the orange section. That is because Soyuz uses what's called a hot stage technique when it separates the stages, the second and third stage. The third stage engine switches on before du bloc I, du bloc A, the second stage switches off and he's confirmed there that separation. Du bloc I. 